Blog Talk Radio. This is Margot. This is Saturday morning, April 15th, 2017. And uh, we're under fully chemtrailed skies where I live already. And it's just now 9.30 my time in the morning. So fully chemtrailed. They were spraying all night, it looks like. So they know that people are going to be out and about this weekend, so they want to make sure to get everyone inoculated fully inoculated with whatever's coming down in these things. Um, Anyway, our show today, I'm going to finish reading the Essene Book of Revelation. I started it yesterday and was not able to finish it. So I'm going to finish that today and then we can discuss it. And uh, I have some thoughts on this revelation. And... um, it's very similar to some things that I have seen in some of my visions. And I do believe we are in the end times. And uh, it's time for people to really get prepared, make your choice, make your decision, get right with Jesus <clears throat> before it's too late. So in case you haven't heard any of my series of the Essenes, I did a whole series on the Essenes where I read the Essene Gospel of Peace, Book 1, um, last fall. And I have it in a playlist on my YouTube channel, all eight parts. The Essenes were um, <clears throat> uh, were a religious sect, um, part of a Jewish religious sect, but they were... They broke off from the other, the others, the the other Jews, um, the Pharisees and Sadducees, and um, they lived in communities outside of major cities. Uh, there, they were most prevalent um, about a hundred years before Jesus, and then they were all killed off by the Romans by a hundred years after Jesus' death. And um, some people believe that they were the first Christians, and some people believe that Jesus and John the Baptist were actually part of the Essene community. And um, so I relate a lot to the teachings of the Essenes, and um, I believe I was a Essene in a past life. And in... uh, working with people, doing implant removal and interdimensional healing. Several of my clients I have seen as part of the Essenes in that in the, those times, and I believe that a lot of the Essenes are reincarnating now because they were beings, come from, came from beings of light. Um, just a little research that I've done, uh, key points about the Essenes. They were peaceful and non warring. They lived in communities, usually in caves outside of major cities. They were vegetarian. Men and women were of equal status. They believed in reincarnation. They believed that people could communicate directly with God in the angelic realm. They believed in one God. 
they did not participate in any blood sacrifices for offerings. They were keepers of ancient texts and knowledge. They were scribes, healers, doctors, and teachers. They were agrarian and grew vegetables in the desert climate. They lived lives of virtue. Um, most of them were monastic, but they did have sex where people could marry and have children to keep their um, their establishment going. Um, they lived very strict, austere lives. They did fasting. They um, did inner cleansing. Uh, they <clears throat> they were probably the first holistic holistic teachers. So um, I really relate to the Essenes, and you might too as you do your research. I've included some links in the description below where you can do some more research. So I'm going to continue with the Essene Book of Revelation. This is the Essene version. And I'm going to backtrack in case you didn't hear part one from yesterday. I'm going to start where the beast had come out of the ocean or out of the sea. The beast had come out of the sea and... Um, and I'll just start there um, after, I'll start here, where the, the guy who's having the vision, he says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise out of the sea, and from his nostrils wafted foul and loathsome air. And where he rose from the sea, the clear waters turned to slime, and his body was covered with black and steaming stone. And the woman clothed with the sun reached out her arms to the beast, and the beast drew her near and embraced her. And lo, her skin of pearl withered beneath his foul breath, and her back was broken by his arms of crushing rock. With tears of blood she sank into the pool of slime. And from the mouth of this beast there poured armies of men, brandishing swords and fighting one with the other. And they fought with a terrible anger, and they cut off their own limbs and clawed out their own eyes until they fell into the pit of slime, screaming in agony and pain. And I stepped to the edge of the pool, and reached down my hand, and I could see the swirling maelstrom of blood, and the men therein trapped like flies in a web. And I spoke in a loud voice, saying, Brothers, drop your swords and take hold in my hand. Leave off this defiling and desecration of she who has given thee birth, and he who has given thee thy inheritance. For you the days of buying and selling are over, and over too the days of hunting and killing. For he that leadeth into captivity will go into captivity, and he who kills with the sword must be killed by the sword. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn, because no man buys their merchandise any more. The merchants of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple dyes, silk and scarlet, marble, beasts, sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. All these things you cannot buy and sell, for all is buried in a sea of blood because you have turned your back on your father and mother and worshipped the beast who would build a paradise of stone. Drop thy swords, my brothers, and take hold of my hand. And as our fingers clasped, I saw in the distance a great city, white and shining on the far horizon, glowing alabaster. 
and there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as not since men were on the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and the great city came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. That's where I ended yesterday, and now we continue. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. (coughs) And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus, with violence, shall the great city be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpists and musicians and of pipers and of singers and trumpeters shall be heard no more in thee. And no craftsman of whatever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more in thee. And the light of the candle shall shine no more in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more in thee. For your merchants were great men of the earth. By their sorceries all nations were deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and all those who were slain upon earth. And my brothers laid hold of my hand, and they struggled out of the pool of slime and stood bewildered on the sea of sand. And the skies opened and washed their naked bodies with rain. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder And I heard the sound of harpists playing their harps, and they sang a new song before the throne. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the songs of day and night, and the everlasting everlasting gospel to preach to them that dwell on the earth, unto them that have climbed from the pit of slime. And stand naked and washed by rain before the the throne. And the angel cried out, Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him that has made heaven and earth. And the sea and the fountains of waters. And I saw heaven open. And beheld a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he does judge. His eyes were like a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. And he was cloaked in blazing light. And his feet were bare. And his name was called the Word of God. And the Holy Brotherhood followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And they entered the eternal, infinite garden, in whose midst stood the tree of life. And the rain-washed naked throngs came before them, trembling to receive their judgment, for their sins were many. And they had defiled the earth, yea, they had destroyed the creatures of the land and sea, poisoned the ground, fouled the air, and buried alive the mother who had given them birth. But I saw not what befell them, for my vision changed, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And there was no more sea. 
and I saw the holy city of the brotherhood coming down from God out of heaven, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Lo, the mountain of the Lord's house is established in the top of the mountains and as is exalted above the hills, and all people shall flow to it. Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of the holy brotherhood shall go forth the law. Behold, the tabernacle Knackle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things have all passed away. Those who made war shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. For the former things have passed away. And he spoke again. Behold, I make all things new. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to him that thirsts at the fountain of the water of life freely. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and all liars, shall dig their own pit, which burns with fire and brimstone. And again my vision changed, and I heard the voices of the Holy Brotherhood raised in song, saying, Come, ye, and let us walk in the light of the law. And I saw the holy city, And the brothers were streaming to it, and the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, on it, for the glory of God did lighten it. And I saw the pure river of the water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding proceeding out of the throne of God. And in the middle of the river stood the tree of life, which bore fourteen kinds of fruits and yielded her fruit to those who would eat of it. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. I have reached the inner vision, and through my spirit in me, I have heard these wondrous, thy wondrous secret. Through thy mystic insight, thou hast caused a spring of knowledge to dwell up within me, a fountain of power pouring forth living waters, a flood of love, and all-embracing wisdom like the splendor of eternal light. And that was the end. The end of the Revelation. The Essene Book of Revelation. And the vision. And it's very similar to visions I've had. Of 5D. The White City. Where it's all protected. And I've already seen beings there. And more beings are going there. And this is where the earth is ascending to is what I've seen. And I've also seen myself and others 
reaching down into the maelstrom, grabbing these arms of people who are crying out in agony, crying out at the last minute to be saved. And we're reaching out and yanking them up out of the maelstrom, the green goo is what I see it as. And it's swirling. And that's all I see is the arms and hands, hundreds of them, thousands of them. And I hear the voices of the people crying out to help them at the last minute. But we can only pull out so many until it's the end. But we pull out who we can to save them. So... I think time is very close. I've had messages that time is very close. That time is very short. And it's almost too late to make your decision. And if you don't make your decision on which side you're going to be on, you will go down by default, down with the dark side. You will be deceived, and it's so easy to be deceived. So many people are implanted with all the the different programs, and the implants that I see in people, the matrix implant, other implants, programming, it's so deceitful. This has all been put in by the dark side to keep people from their divine connection, from being able to realize their own divineness. And it's just like in the book, the same book of Revelation, how we were imbued with these divine qualities, but we were covered up. These two qualities have been covered up in us. We've been blinded to them and covered up, and we're so imbued with the layers of the world, the layers of 3D and the darkness. It's so hard to get to that divineness. But in my work, that's what I do. I help people uncover and find their own divineness and be able to find that connection. It never went away. It's always been there. But It's been covered up. The mind is chattering away. We've got anxiety. We've got fears. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. We've got programming. And if you have all that, it's hard to get out by yourself because you can't see what it is for what it really is because you're inside all of that belief reality is what I call it. So it's really hard. So um, my my recommendation is everyone pray. Ask for God and Jesus to come and help you. Ask for your angels to come and help you. Take that belief reality cap off. And if anyone feels so inclined to work with me, I'm a hypnotist, holistic life coach, and empathic spiritual healer. And I can help the ones who are open and ready. I can't help everyone. I try to help who I can. A lot of people have demonic attachments. Um, They're being controlled by dark forces. And these things can be attached to implants. A lot of times they are. If the implants are removed and the demonic forces are not dealt with, the implants will come right back. And if the demonic forces are prayed over and cast out, but the implants are taken out, the demonic things can come right back. Portals have to be shut down 
There are back doors. There's all kinds of stuff. It's um, it's very convoluted. It's not easy work, but I've learned to do it and to help people to do their own work if they're so inclined and if they have done a lot of work on themselves in the past. It's possible to do your own work once we get you cleared up. So um, that's my message for today. We're getting close to the end of the show here. Again, my name is Margo. My website is margoshealingcorner.com. I have a YouTube channel, Margo's Healing Corner. And um, time is short. You need to find your own answers. And that's what I encourage people to do, find your own answers. And once you get uncovered from the layers, it's very simple. And I also tell people that if anyone is giving them a very long protocol, a long protocol with um, a lot of New Age groups, you know, have a very long protocol and they won't say the name of Jesus. They will not call on Jesus. I believe these are false. And these are ones who have been put in to take you off of the true path and off of finding your way home. And Satan has manipulated and gotten in everywhere. Don't think he hasn't gotten in everywhere. This is a battle for the souls. And there is good and evil. And in this matrix, there is good and evil. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you find out how to battle it, the sooner you'll get free of the control of it. You, I'm not saying you won't come under attack anymore. We're all under attack as long as we're here in 3D. We are under attack. We never get out from under that. But you learn to recognize the attacks and you learn to battle it. And then you won't be caught up in the illusion and the delusion. And you can make the right choices for yourself. So that's my show for today. From the that was the rest of the Essene Book of Revelation. So until next time, I hope everyone has a good weekend. This is Easter weekend. Let us pray for peace. Let us pray that the leaders of the world have some some clear clear thoughts instead of this confused thinking thinking that we have to blow each other up. We are so on the verge of this awful war that's been predicted and everyone is you know it's it's we're right on the brink. We really need to pray for peace, stay calm, pray for your own revelation and your own connection to Jesus and the angels. And if you haven't gotten right with Jesus, if you haven't opened up your heart to him and asked for your sins to be forgiven and to be filled with the Holy to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now would be a good time because pretty soon it's going to be too late. So until next time, take care and God bless and go in peace.